Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hello everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will learn about one more new DAX function that is top n function. Okay. Top n means Using this function, I want the use cases. I want to get top 10 records. If you see this table, right? This is an order table where I do have information about all the IDs, order IDs, order date, ship day, ship more, about each and every customer, okay? On which particular day, what he has ordered, and what is the sales made. All this information I am having for all the customers. See? How many you have? Almost 9,993 rows you have. So you have all the customers' information in this order table. Okay. Now I want one subset table. Subset of this order table, which will hold only the top 10 records. Top 10 records based on the sales made. Whoever is making the highest sales to this business, only those records I want in a separate table. So it's called a subset table. It is a table level function. Now I wanted to achieve that. For that, I will go and use top in function. As I told you, this is a table level function. So I'm just selecting this table. Now I am getting an option new table. So let me select this. And one more thing. Before I actually create that function, top end function, I also want that sales measure. Okay, because I'm going to create this based on the sales made. So I'm just selecting this table. I'll go with a new measure called total sales. So to get the total sales, I'm using some function called sum function. So in this function, I'm trying to give sales value. So I will give sales column here and I'm just creating my total sales measure. So my measure is created. Now I will go and use this function. So direct function, I'll uh, top end function. Now I can use. So I am going with the new table. As I told you, it will return a subset, subset of a table with the top end records. So I am giving here top 10 records table. Okay, new table I'm creating. So here I'm using the function called top end function. If I click on that, it is giving me. It returns a given number of top rows according to the condition which we are specifying here. Okay, so top n value. Either you want top 5, you want top 10, top 20, whatever the value you want, just enter that value. I'm going with the top 10. And then it is asking for the table name. What is my table name? orders is my table name and it is also asking for an expression so based on what i am picking the top 10 based on the sales right so i'm giving that measure the measure which i created for the sales is total sales so i'm using this total sales measure and then it is also asking for the order right the good thing about the dax functions right if you are not able to recall the parameters which you have to pass in that function, no problem. It's not an issue. When you are trying to open that function itself, clearly it will tell you what this function does, what kind of parameters you need to pass, the order of the parameters you need to pass, every single information the DAX function itself will give you. Okay, so you need not worry about this. It's easy to learn the DAX functions. Okay. So it asked me for the table. I have provided that. It has ordered, uh, asked for the expression. I have given that as well. Now it's asking for the order. So obviously, you know, right? Top 10 is based on the descending. So I'm just taking this descending. All the records in this table from that only top 10 records it will pick based on the sales. Just based on the sales, I'm giving simple uh, expression here. So I am giving here descending order. So now 
I'll create this table. As soon as I click on enter, you can see here. If you see here at the bottom, this table is created. So let me collapse this and expand this. If you see this table, the top 10 records table here also you are seeing all the columns. Column names will be as it is. You will get all the column names. But if you actually go and see the data from this data view, you are only seeing 10 records. Can you see here? Only 10 records you are seeing here. Not all the records. Only 10 it is taking based on the sales and the uh, order which we have provided. So this is your main orders table where you are having all your records. 9,993 rows you can see here. And if I go and see this table which I have created here. Based on this formula top pen the table the value how many records I wanted the table name based on what the expression I have provided and the order. OK, now if you see only I can see here 10 records even at the bottom you can see how many records 10 records. OK, so this is about your. Top n function. This function is a table level function which will return this. Records based on the value you provide it will return that many rows. Clear. Thank you for watching this and for more informative videos, please do like, share and subscribe to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Thank you.